Hello, my name is Chris. I'm working for Tooth Ryland Group and I'm going to talk today about measurement uncertainty of PV modules. The Guide of Uncertainty in Measurement defines measurement uncertainty as a parameter associated with the result of a measurement that characterizes the dispersion of the values that could reasonably be attributed to a measurement. In other words, it is the range of deviation of the actual measurement to the true value of the measured quantity. How significant is the measurement uncertainty in terms of money? So let's take a simple example. The measurement uncertainty in production usually lies in the range of 3 to 5%. So, let's take an example, assuming that you have a power plant in Southern Europe of about 50 megawatts. Every 1% of measurement uncertainty would mean a loss of 40,000 euros per year. Over a lifespan of 25 years, that's 1 million euros for every 1% of uncertainty. And that's a lot of money. Often, also a coverage factor of k is equal to 2 is quoted next to the uncertainty. It means that 95 out of 100 times, the reported value lies within the specified range of the measurement uncertainty. So, measurement uncertainty is important. The point is to achieve low measurement uncertainty which will help increase the confidence for investors and reduce risks for manufacturers. And it's not only about integrating a reference module in the measurement system with low measurement uncertainty. There are more things also to consider. For example, using qualified solar simulators and measurement practices. Another question that people ask is how that does the uncertainty propagate in practice? In other words, what are the achievable measurement uncertainties that we can expect from the industry and from test houses? To answer this question, we have to understand how the uncertainty propagates in practice. So what I'm sharing with you at the screen is the measurement traceability chain. On top of the chain stand the NMIs, the National Metrology Institutes. They will provide the primary reference cell to accredited laboratories like to Rhineland, where we will perform a secondary reference device calibration. These modules then will be given in the industry where the manufacturers will calibrate their own working or silver modules, if you like, working reference of silver modules that they will be used for the calibration of solar simulators in production. Now, the measurement uncertainty propagates or increases for every additional measurement from the source of calibration chain down to the final production line measurements. And it's very important here to stress that the total measurement uncertainty of PV modules in production will depend on the quality of employed procedures in every step of this chain. Tooth Rhineland can provide to the manufacturers low measurement uncertainty for the reference or golden modules with measurement uncertainty of 1.5 to 2%. This enables the manufacturers to achieve low measurement uncertainty for the PV modules. However, the total measurement uncertainty does not only depend on the reference module, but also on the quality and procedures of every step in measurement chain in production, as we said before. Therefore, we always recommend additional pre-shipment investigation of the purchased PV modules. We can provide here mass measurements with uncertainty of 2 to 2.5% in Pmax. So there are four reasons to test at Tooth Rhineland. First of all, we have state-of-the-art labs that can measure with high accuracy, which means that we can bring down the measurement uncertainty at Pmax at 1.5%. Second, we have dedicated team of experts with more than 35 years of experience. We have research in optimized measurement procedures that can minimize the measurement uncertainty. Third reason to test with us, global market access with local services. Fourth, we are independent and unbiased. Thank you very much for your attention.